Welcome back to the Maelstrom, ladies and gentlemen. We have another Warhammer 40k battle report for you today. Today we are beginning our crusade at 25 power level uh, with the Orcs, Caleb's Orcs, facing off against uh, Eric's Tau Empire. Uh, so 25 power level, and they're doing the first mission for Crusade, which is sweep and clear. So there are four objectives across the table. Uh, you score 10 points for holding an objective. You score an additional 10 points for holding more than one. Is that correct? Yes. And then you score 10 points for holding your opponent's objective. Um, and then each of them also has their own secret agenda, which will be uh, revealed later on in the video. Um, so that's the table. Uh, which side are the Tau on? This side. All right, so Tau will be over here, stretched through the ruins and the forest and the Imperial statue, and the orcs will be coming in at them out of the ruins from this side. Um, that is initial setup for the table. We'll be right back with the armies. So I have a shock attack mech, a nine boy squad with an odd, 10 looters and 20 stone boys. All right. So that is going to be the orcs contribution for the crusade today. Next up is the towel. So I will be playing a custom set. Um, I have an ethereal and a Cadre Fireblade to lead my uh, advancement on the planet. Following them up, I have three squads of 10 Fire Warriors, all with support turrets with smart missile systems, and a five-man Pathfinder squad with three real rifles. All right, so you have seen the armies. The Tau are preparing their initial positions for Planetfall, and the Orcs have something to say about that. We will be back as we get stuck into the Maelstrom. All right, initial setup is complete. Uh, Caleb, tell us about these orcs. So I got my orc set up behind some of these ruins that we're not using as actual ruins. Yep, just battlefield or as a battlefield wall. And then I've got my Ludas and my Shark Attack Nick in the forest. All right, and then you got your Storm Boys where? Um, my Storm Boys are gonna come in from jump above. above. Jump from above. Yep. All right. What about the towel? So I took place in the fountain to get a crossfire position on the Ludas. The rest of my army is set up on the flank behind the forests to try and minimize the damage that's coming in. All right, so that's initial deployment. Um, let's get a roll off here and see what we got coming up. So the Tau have a five and the Orcs have a six. Caleb, you going first? Yeah. All right, uh, Orc, turn one, coming up next. So my boys, they advanced and got up there. My Ludas shot over at the Pathfinder squad and killed all of them, and the other dude passes around. And then my Shock Attack Mech shot over at the squad on the statue and killed nothing. <laughs> yep, use a command reroll because you rolled one shot, right? Yep. Ended up with two and had one hit and then rolled a one, so stuck the Snotlings into the statue by mistake. Um, but as he said, the Pathfinder did survive. He did, he did make his morale. Uh, so that is it for Orc turn one. Tau, coming up next. So my Pathfinder moved forward. Uh, he managed to get his marker light hit off through a command reroll on the Ludas. My Cadre Fireblade hit a marker light hit on the boys. And all my Fire Warriors on this flank fired into them to bring them down to the knob after morale. And my squad in the fountain fired into the Ludas and brought two of them down. Yep. And Ludas did make their morale check. So that is turn one in the books. Caleb, you got anything planned for these uh, Tau? Lag! All right. Uh, we will be back for turn two. So my Ludas shot. They did nothing. And they shot at the, sta the dudes in the statue. And uh, he's showing off. They killed five of them with showing off. Mm -hmm. And then my uh, 
shock attack make. He rolled an 11 for his strength and killed all of them with his three. D3 mortal wounds? Yep. Yep. And then my knob um, moved up. He shot his pistol, did nothing. And he shot it at the... Pathfinder? Pathfinder. And he is going to also charge into the Pathfinder. Uh-huh. And then my storm boys, which... Um, tried to charge into all the all the characters and everything from the town. They failed, and like half of them got killed over Overwatch. Yep, and uh, lost. Uh, w even with here we go, couldn't make the charge. Uh, but you do have one combat here to work. We're gonna work that Battle of the Titans and see what might happen there. So my boss knob. Went in, successfully killed the Pathfinder. Yeah, who'd have thought that was going to happen, right? Me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and my knob moved up three inches from where he was. All right. Lots of towels shooting left here in the corner, but they have been pushed back from their uh, moves, moves to the periphery. Um, Tau, turn two. We'll be next. So... Uh... In the movement phase, everything remains stationary to receive the ethereal storm of fire uh, element. They fire, one squad fired into the storm boys and brought them down through the help of their support turret. And the other squad, their support turret managed to take out the knob. Yep, so that just leaves the loot is down there, no targets for the rest of the guys. All right, so that is it for Tau. Orcs coming up next. So, my Ludas and Shock Attack make they both shot into the same squad, killing a turret and four of the other one, four of the Fire Warriors. Yep. And the Ludas also used showing off. Yep, and got a total of four. Um, and then the Fire Warriors played Insane Bravery to stay in the fight. So, that is going to be it for the Orcs. Tower Response is up next. So, since I didn't have range, my contrary fire blade and my squ small squad of fire warriors are standing on that objective to keep racking points. And then my ethereal and other uh, fire warrior squad are advanced forward to try and capture the objective, and I used a command reroll on the fire warriors advance. Yep, weren't quite in range, but you did get them within three, right? Yep. All right, so they're holding two objectives, finally. Uh, but going back to the orcs in the bot or top of turn four. So my Ludas, they shot into the squad over there. They killed eight. They just killed a couple. They just killed a few because Eric rolled really well on his armor saves. Yeah, and then but the big mech. He killed pretty much all of them except for three. Two of them lost morale. Yeah, he rolled a six for his shots, rolled four sixes and a five. After Daka got two more shots and killed off six, seven, yeah, something insane like that. Like that. Uh, but uh, morale got two more, but it did leave one guy who is going to be holding this objective and push the Tau into the lead. Uh, Tau, turn four, coming up next. So my Shazwi uh, moved forward behind the barricade. You support turret replacement to try and give him some firepower. Uh, aimed everything at the Ludus from doing two guys and nothing happened. Uh, my ethereal fell back to give everybody else sense of stone. Yeah, that's why he fell back and didn't stay in the open. <laughs> uh, all right, so that is it for turn four. Uh, orcs are opening up for the close of the game. Coming up next. So my Ludas shot into them and killed none. Yeah, Yo, you shot here and killed, wiped these guys out. Yeah, with the I Ludas. And then my shock attack mech, he shot into that squad and killed three. <laughs> yeah, that guy has not been kidding around. All right, so that was it for the orcs. And then the towel, you said for your turn, just stand and sell, right? Yeah. All right, so since you hold objectives even after you've been killed off of them, the towel have claimed this one as well. And that will end the game with a 60 to 40 victory for the towel. Is that correct? Correct. All right, how are we looking on our agendas for the game? So Caleb achieved his Sentinel and yep. I achieved Reaper with the Fire Warrior squad that's still alive. All right, so. We got some veterans coming out of this first engagement. The Tau take an early lead and establish their initial beachhead. 
to try to keep the uh, area for the crisis suits to begin their landing to get a force built up. Orcs are retreating to lick their wounds as the Iron Warriors will soon be taking the field against one or the other.